Marty, what you reading? Marty, I need a favor. I will do your laundry duty tomorrow if you show the new girls around the place. Where are they? Maeve is in the tent cabin unpacking and Joanna will be here any minute. You're a doll. So this is the composting toilet. What's that? Oh, we don't put toilet paper down the hatch. Somebody just forgot to empty it. Yeah, I forgot to empty the bucket. So you have to take this lid off like this lid, right like that. And then whoop, you got to uh, get this handle in here out and then you gotta bring it out here and then you put it over here. Excuse me. Okay. Yes, I'm fine. I'm just a bit jet lagged. Where did you fly in from? Germany. Oh, really? How'd you hear about this place? I found it on the internet. I'm interested in Eastern cultures, meditation, and things like that. They do have that here, right? It's said on the internet. Why didn't you go to India? Look, I'm just really tired. Do you think you could show me to my room? Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, Marty. I think I broke it. Let's welcome our two new members to the group. We're very pleased to have you. My name is Susan, and I do hope that you find peace and fulfillment here with us. Sunflower, would you like to explain the circle rules? Sure. This is the talking stick. You need to have it whenever you want to say something during circle. It comes from indigenous cultures, and it's our way of respectfully communicating. First thing on the agenda is emptying the composting toilet in a timely manner.
What are we making? You can prepare the tofu if you're into it. Why does this tofu smell so bad? We don't use preservatives. It's better for you. That's a nut cutting board. You need a vegetable one. Do you see the label on the side? Leave, why weren't you at the meeting yesterday? You know, it's really important for us all to be present. all dressed up for dinner. Shouldn't you focus on cutting your tofu? Hey. Um, I hear you're staying in the cabin. Let me know if it gets lonely up there. Maybe you got some letters. Thanks. You can stay. Why are you limping? Cut my toe before you got here. That's a lot of letters. I know. It's ridiculous. And they're not even interesting. Who's Abby, your girlfriend? She's my professor. Oh. So, do you have a boyfriend? Or a girlfriend? Yeah, I have tons of those. Currently, I'm seeing a pilot and his name is Edward. Tell me about him. He flies planes. Oh. He sounds amazing. Mm -hmm, he is. So, are you guys monogamous? I'm not sure. It's still kind of new. Well, maybe you should talk to him about it. I'm gonna leave you alone. See you later? Yes. Say goodbye. 
No, I actually would like to exchange some of my clothes to get something a little more appropriate for here. I'm kidding. Let's take a look. I take a look around the dressing rooms are in the back. Hello. Hey. What's going on? Prissy here decided to change her style. Why? I like their clothes. Excuse me, mate. Where do you keep the long work trousers? Just open your eyes. This is not a sensible work shirt. What do you say, Marty? Leave her out of it. Hello? Hello. Nice dress. Girls only today. Yeah, I can see that. I just need some rags for the kitchen. No, you don't. Get out. Okay, chill. Jeez. It's nice to meet you. Out. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Thanks. I have some better work clothes in the back. You want to take a look? Yeah, that'd be great. Hey guys! Hey, oh, am I disturbing you? I was just going to make some tea. No, I'm stuck right now anyway. Let me read it, maybe I can help. Oh no, it's too long. It's part of a novel. You wouldn't understand the context. I didn't know you were writing a novel. What is it about? Nothing, just stuff. You're writing an entire novel about stuff. It's about flying. Do you like flying? Actually, I've never been on a plane. Well, somebody's got to read it someday. I'll do your next shift in the whoop workshop if you like. It's tomorrow morning, the early shift. That's okay. Okay, you can read it 
but I want constructive criticism, like from a publisher's point of view. This is beautiful. Where did you learn to write like this? It's not that great. Anyone could write that. I couldn't. Yes, you could. Everyone can. It's nothing special. You just gotta do it. Well, I think it's beautiful. I'll buy it when it's published. I should get back to bed. Early shift tomorrow. Thanks for letting me read this. One thing though, you misspelled extinguished. Thanks. We have a couple of visitors arriving this week. Uh, Does anybody want to volunteer to give them a tour? Sure, I'll do it. Thanks, Phoenix. And Susan and I were talking about putting up a couple more hammocks. Hey, Marty. Thanks for joining us. Please, everyone, try to be on time for these meetings. Sorry. So as far as the hammocks go, there's this really sunny Wait, spot. we have to talk about the kitchen. Oh, okay. Do you want to talk about the kitchen? No, you should. Should really get that checked out. I know it hurts. The kitchen is a mess. We have that. There was a spill on the floor the other day. Were you? Was it you? It, it wasn't me. I had it two days ago. It was whoever was here yesterday. All right. Well, whoever it was, we need to make sure that this kitchen is spotless. Oh, We should have done that weeks ago. That was great. It was. I couldn't really tell with you. You're not exactly vocal. I enjoyed it. It's just Mark and Lauren are right next door. So? Right here. <laughs> so what? They'd be happy for us. Maybe even jealous. Mark, at least. Oh, come on. This is really the last place where anybody would care about some sex noise. Maybe I'm just not a loud person. I don't believe that. I'll just have to practice.
What are you doing? We're waiting for you at Circle. What's wrong with you? Did you drink too much again? I guess. Rough night. So, are you coming or do you want me to tell them that you're too hungover? I'm not hungover. Are you okay? I sort of black out sometimes. It's embarrassing. So you prefer people to think you're an alcoholic? I don't want them to think I'm sick or crazy. Okay. I'll tell them you have a cold. Okay, Joanna. Got everything you need? Hey, Marty, you want to come into town? Nope. Come on, Marty. These girls could use your help. We'd love it if you came. Fine. But I'm sitting in the back. Is that what you're going to wear? Two of you broke up. Broke up with who? Marty. She told me a kind of a thing. Really? How sweet. Oh, maybe I saw you during circle meeting, and you are really flirty. I am. I remember that. Come on, Marty. What did I do? You're just going to ignore me? So, how was town? It was fine. We made $140. Ooh, 140 Let's get started. Where's Marty? I saw her walking into the woods this morning. She left. Something about her toe. You knew about her toe when you just let her go? <laughs> it's her choice, Meg. It's everyone's own decision to be here. You knew about it too? I don't think Marty left because of her toe. Joanna, the stick. Are you saying it's my fault? She needed a doctor. It's nobody's fault, but maybe it's better for the community this way. Now, can we get to the items at hand? I'm leaving we'll... as well. Can you please wait until you have the talking stick? No, I'm through. I'm going home. You're just gonna leave me here? With these people? 